All right, today I'm going to install these Champ floor anchor pots. Um, I was planning on installing these six months ago. They've been sitting on a shelf, and uh, today I decided to install them. I figured I'd make a video for you to kind of show you how I've learned to install them. I've installed one already, and I'll show you how to install this other one. I have six of them to install. Um, realized that I kind of need them with the body work I'm doing over here to pull some of this structure out. Uh, this car was in a little bit of an accident. But you can kind of see here that I have installed one of them already. And looks pretty good. Should do the job, definitely. Um, the cool thing about these anchor pots is they're flush with the concrete. I've, I've kind of chipped up a little of the concrete around because when I poured the concrete, um, there's a plastic sleeve in there and uh, it, it kind of, uh, when I was chipping the concrete loose, kind of broke some of that loose. So I'll come back with some epoxy and fill that in. But basically, hook your chain on here and hook your power pole to this and uh, turn your concrete floor into, uh, you know, a, a, a body shop pretty much, straighten frames and many other purposes these can be used for. So, and it's got that nice little plastic cover that, or metal cover that prevents you from falling in or tripping, but it's smooth. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I'll kind of tell you what I've done here. I have um, pretty much got a piece of three and a half inch PVC, filled it up with some expanda foam, just uh, from your Home Depot or Lowe's. And the pipe is three and a half inch uh, outside diameter. Um, it's actually considered four inch pipe. And uh, I basically cut an eight inch piece because this concrete's eight inches thick. You can install these on four inch concrete, but um, this is, I poured this just six months ago to put up my lift and I figured why not let's throw these in and make my life easier for some other projects down the road. Um, so, and you can core drill these holes. That's that's the great thing. Come out, core drill them in some existing concrete. You don't have to do this method. I just I just did it because I had it and I said, why not? But what I basically need is this is the anchor pot. It comes with the cap, the actual pot piece of chain and a little key chain you can hook your chain to and then this which locates into the bottom of the hole and you're gonna basically pull that chain up there's little relief cuts in here and this is gonna just pretty much press up against the hole so, so what I have here pretty much what I've decided I needed I got these long needle nose just to dig some stuff out of the hole here. Uh, they're, they're always handy. And then I got a pry bar, a, a long punch, an air hammer, sawzall, and a chain hook here and my floor jack. Also, I've got my shop vacuum. I did cut this piece of plate here. I just, it's quarter inch thick plate and I just, Took my plasma cutter, cut a quick hole in it. Um, I'll kind of show you more how that works, but that's kind of what I've learned I've needed for installing the previous one. So I will show you how to install this. All right, so you want to make sure you got safety glasses, some gloves. <laughs>
All right, so here you can kind of see there's the pipe. It's pretty deep down in there. I'm gonna make a couple relief cuts on my sawzall blade I'm realizing isn't quite long enough to get to the bottom of the hole, but we will do our best and bust it out. I'm gonna take this and So that is the hole. I can basically come over and show you. There's a little piece of plastic left in the bottom, but that's a good 10 inches down. I forgot this one's a lot deeper, but you can kind of get the gist. see down in there got the t-slot in there you want to kind of make sure it's centered that there's an even gap around the edges so this pot will slide in without an issue um, next thing we'll do is we will stick the pot in there this point you can kind of see it's flush in there I will show you the reason why you need to keep it even you can see that T slot in there the base and it's landed in there almost perfectly and so at this point you're gonna stick the chain down in the T slot and we're gonna pull it up so let me show you how to do that. And that's where the jack comes in. Alright. At this point I'm going to drop this into the T-slot.
kind of is a pain to get it in the right spot. Once you get it locked in, it's smooth sailing. further back. Okay, so that's in the place. Chains at the bottom of the hole. I am basically going to take this plate, stick it over the top here, put my floor jack over. About right there and I'm going to lower it down just a little bit. And then I've got this little clevis, just because the chain's not quite long enough. I'm going to screw that on and take my hook. Got my chain hook. There's a rod on the bottom of most jacks here. I am going to stick it right there and use it to pull this up into place. So here we go. And you see how the plate kind of give you a little show and tell here. So you can kind of see down in this hole how the plate's there to hold the the cup or the anchor pot from coming out of there. You can kind of see down roughly in the bottom of the hole. And you can kind of see down in that hole. It's kind of pulling that anchor pot up. Pretty tough to see, but and then it's going to pretty much compress it into the concrete and allow it not to come back out. And give it another couple pumps just to make sure it's set and it is that jack's got all all she's got that's three tons on it I'm sure we could get a little more on there but that's all we got so I am gonna lower this guy down take our little hook off that there's a weight there's a couple different ways to do this but I'm I'm just gonna stick this in this cover and and the chain will pretty much hold it down that is how my version of installing the champ anchor pot